Welcome back to Soma. Alright, so we need to get the power suit working, and to do that we need structure gel, a cortex chip, and a power pack. I've gotten the structure gel from in there, so now we need the other two things. Let's go looking. the thing is going to appear in there again. What in the hell is that thing? Hmm. Okay, where have I been? Where have I not been? I went to the laboratory, I went back there. I think I need to go down or up. Right? Let's go ahead and check the map real quick. I'm here, so I need to go this way. So I need to go... Wait, behind me? No, they can't be right, that's where I just came from. It looks like there's stairs. Uh, hydroponics. Oh, here we go. This way. Yeah, I was in here before, but that's before I unlocked everything, so I still need to go into these places. It's really hard to see. Those look like Bunsen burners. Just hanging out in some little secured storage thing. Ooh, can these break? Dang, these things are strong. What is it with Site Alpha? Because I remember somebody mentioned before, but the possibility of it not actually existing, of it not actually being real. What, what the hell is Site Alpha?
feel like there's going to be a monster up here. It feels darker and spookier. Containment. This is main entrance. Oh my god. Oh. Every single damn one of them is missing their heads. Before I was thinking about the possibility of them killing themselves, and, like blowing off their own heads to stop the black boxes or something like that, but what if the black boxes could actually remotely be controlled, uh, remotely controlled to like explode or something, overloaded? Is it possible the WoW just blew them up? Welcome to Omicron. <laughs> Enjoy your stay. Oh, wow, I actually was not reading the sign when I said enjoy your stay, but it actually does literally say enjoy your stay. <laughs> well, none of them are going to have anything on them because I can't. There's, there's nothing to data mine. It's easy to forget that I'm underwater until you look up at something like this. Alright, I'm here. Just came from here. Yeah, that's blocked off, that's blocked off, and these two doors are locked, unfortunately. So the only places I can access right now are the airlock, which doesn't go anywhere, or back down the stairs. Well, never mind. That fixed that. Really, really tempted to touch that thing so I can see properly. Uh. Alright, remember, I'm still looking for a Cortex chip and power. Food looks like it's not moldy or anything like that. Looks kind of tasty. Although, it seems to be either packaged or just frozen in place because it's not falling out of the tray. is this? Ugh, my view's too distorted to read it. What is that? Q... 
kissy gloss? Is that lip gloss? Johan Ross was found dead on the climber this morning. The ARC team went down a couple of days ago, but I see no reason to suspect them playing a part in his death. The climber can't be operated from the abyss, so there was a scheduled retrieval. The climber returned with only the lifeless body of Alpha member Johan Ross. No traces of the ARC team. Cameron, Eames, Lansky. All studying the body inside containment. I'll follow up with whatever they find. Lender S. The WoW has been getting more aggressive, pushing all systems to their limits. Ironically, the dead Dr. Johan Ross would be the perfect person to ask why the WoW is making such a big buzz about his passing. After all, the WoW isn't supposed to want anything. And definitely not to mourn people. The system overload affects the staff considerably. Headaches, loss of sleep, unwarranted stress. And it seems to be getting worse. I could use some advice if you can get through. Don't the est. Things are out of hand. The staff looks like they're about to explode. Every other person walks around with nosebleeds, and the rest keep wiping stains of blood from their eyes to keep them from overflowing. That's to do with the WoW trying to free Ross somehow, for sure. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the body just got up and left. Rally Herber, our dispatcher, has been snooping around asking questions she shouldn't. She says she's going down into the abyss to find Alpha. I can't bring myself to stop her. Whoa. Holy shit. Her fucking head exploded right at the end of that recording, didn't it? <sighs> okay, so I'm starting to put things together. Yeah, she's talking about the, uh, everybody having unwarranted stress and headaches and nosebleeds and getting worse and worse and worse because the WoW was getting overloaded and the WoW, uh, could control. Um, had some considerable control over their bodies, over regulating their bodies and stuff like that. So the WoW was making them worse and worse, and obviously it is. It, it is what caused them to explode. It fucking blew up their heads. It overloaded to that point. On purpose? By accident? I don't know. Probably on purpose. Almost certainly on purpose. I mean, the timing of that last one. She was just talking about that, then her fucking head exploded. That's too much of a coincidence. I seemed angry about Johan... Johan Ross. Remember they were dead and that they were... They started to be brought back to life, right? Like reconstructed or something like that. Tell evacuation. On September 13th... Vic Auclair ordered the staff at Tau to evacuate and move up to the plateau. Together with engineer Alan Waldeck, I descended into the abyss to assist the evacuation. Following protocol, we waited at the climber platform for 140 minutes and made several attempts to contact Tau. I decided to move towards the site, thinking I might intercept them. That's when I noticed the guiding lights flickering, and soon the whole path shut down. Omega Sector, swallowed by darkness. I pushed on with my floodlight, until I heard screaming over the short-range radio. It carried on, breaking in and out of range. As I hurried closer to investigate, I came upon the lacerated body of field worker Espinoza. Something big had almost cut her in two. I considered the importance of saving Tao, and more specifically Ross, as I heard Espinoza's colleague getting massacred over the radio. Seeing no way to possibly improve the situation, I hurried back to the climber and left the people at Tao to their fate. Something big had almost cut her in two. You know what I'm thinking of? That freaking robo shark that might be out there in the waters. With some luck, Ross made it back to Tau and is able to continue his work at Alpha. To avoid further disturbances, I've decided to report the evacuation as a complete failure. 
hoping it will stop Theta from attempting another one. Claudia Eames, the manager of Omicron, has already ordered the climber to stay at the plateau for now. My report on the savage wildlife scared everyone enough to even stop Waldeck and Darby from maintaining the Lumar probes. It's a good thing Golaski is off-site, because I have a feeling he would not have approved. The restrictions came out slightly more severe than I had anticipated, but I'll take it. As long as Ross is left alone to work with the WoW. What is up with Site Alpha? I want to know more about this Site Alpha. It seems like it's the center of everything that's been going on or something. I'm trying to remember if I've read anything about Site Alpha before that I've just forgotten. Like earlier on in the game. Hmm. So they just want to be left alone, basically. They just want Ross to be left alone, it sounds like. Carthage? Carthage? What the hell is that? Hmm. Probably important, but I don't know what that means. I'm tempted to touch that thing, but I'm not going to do it. Ooh, power room. Well, I know what I'm going to find there. Power. That's, no, that's not from that person. What the hell is that? There's something over there. I, I don't know if it's... It doesn't seem to be moving. I mean, it doesn't seem to be walking, so I'm not sure if it's a threat to me, but it is alive. High performance rechargeable lithium sulfur packs. 515 watt hours, okay. Blah, 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 for blah, 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 on power suits, recharge the pack and high monsu charge, and five. Okay, so I need the pack, and if it's not charged, I need to charge it. Well, there's nothing in here. Yes, yeah, so they're supposed to be stored in here, but they're both missing. Standing, so I think it can move. It can just move wherever the hell it wants to. I, 
think it's... I think it might be crying. It is. It's crying. There's another one of those battery pack charging station storage things over there. Actually, I don't think it's a charging station. I think it's just storage. doesn't seem to care. Alright, let me throw it closer. There, it must have hurt bad, right? It's just not a threat. Should I just not look at it? Is it proximity or sight? Oh, proximity. human. I guess their head probably exploded and it looks like their head's been replaced, I think. And one of their, one of their feet. Or their leg. Did she just say get back from me? Can I just go for it? I, I, don't, I don't think it's going to end well, but I don't know what else I can do. She knows I'm here. I guess she doesn't... She just wants me to leave. Don't come any closer. I kind of have to. Get 
Okay. Yeah, she had like scissor hands or something. Poison the well. It wants me to destroy the well. It wants me to destroy the system. Like, upload a virus or something. Somehow poison it. Uh, is this thing actually charged? The thing I just picked up, is it actually charged? I don't know. I'm just going to assume it's charged. Because I'm not going back in there. <sighs> okay, now we need a Cortex chip. Well... I found the power up here, and I found the structure gel in the middle floor, so I'm guessing the Cortex chip is probably on the lower floor. Unless I've already been in there. I can't remember. Hmm. Where would I find a Cortex chip exactly? From a robot, right? Like, from a living robot? Like, the woman I just encountered? She would have a Cortex chip, right? I don't think I can... I don't think I can get it from her, though. Yeah, let's go down. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. There was a, what looked like a partially completed robot person right here on the ground. There was, now it's not. Oh, fuck me. I guess that's where I'm gonna get the Cortex chip from, then. Great. Where is it? I think I've explored everything down here. This is where I came from. Unless... Oh, wait, no. No, there's something new here. Yeah, I can unlock this. Repair bay, perfect. Is that the the creature I saw before? It moved and then collapsed, or is that a different one? You're a different one. The other one had a... had like a metal leg. You don't. End Tau... Find Alpha? Take the what to Alpha? 
I can't read that. The heart of Alpha. What the hell is that Alpha? Does Alpha hold, like, the... the brain of the WoW or something? Look, it's a formation of pizza slices attacking. Into the abyss. Take it to Alpha in the abyss. Alpha needs medicine. Sick. That's the structure gel. Stress ball. Strasky, are you there? I hear you, Herbie. What's up? Uh, just wanted to check in. I have to go do something. I might not be around for a few days, okay? Oh, hey, wait a minute. Rally her relief. Unable to connect. That, that's actually the newest one. Let's go with the oldest one first. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Unable to connect. Lumar. Tau, please respond. This is Rally Herber calling from Omicron. Please respond, Tau. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Wait a minute. What's up with the order of these? That's This isn't the right order either. It looks like it's this one, this one, this one, and then the top one. That's confusing. So this is the earliest one, actually. Omicron, can you hear us? Loud and clear. Everyone all right? We will be as soon as we make friends with the power suits. I'm sure you'll get used to it. wanted to check in before we pass the last working Lumar probe. Guys, any last words to Omicron? Don't forget to pick us up. You uh, heard that, right? Don't worry, we won't forget. Alright, heading into radio silence. Good luck, guys. Strasky, are you there? I hear you, Herbie. What's up? Uh, just wanted to check in. I have to go do something. I might not be around for a few days, okay? Rally her relieving the listening post? Must be important. It is, Strask. It is. Well, okay then. Stay safe. I'm just going to close this behind me. Oh my god. I see a stress ball in there. You, How can you hide the stress ball from me? You cruel. Look, I've even grabbed the stress ball. Give me the stress ball! The fact that I can't get the stress ball is really stressing me out. or eject. Well, I know what I want to do. But, let's take a look around first. No, looks like that's it. Oh, I think I have to diagnose it before I can eject it. 
Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, um, how does this work? Some weird connectory puzzle thing. I guess I have to connect them all to the side or something. I don't know. How the heck does this work? Oh. It gets like reflected. Okay, so I need I need to get all the reflections to go down here, I guess. Like that. Not everything. This would sure be a very appropriate but inopportune time for the missing robot to appear as I try to get back and get into my power suit. where I need to go. I actually kind of forgot. Is it on the lower floor? I seriously can't remember where the suit room is. Dive room. It's the dive room, right? Oh, fuck. Is that... Is that the woman with the snippy hands? Oh god, it is. That's the medical bay, though. Thank Thankfully, I don't need to go in there. Oh wait, it's connected, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Close the door behind me, but I know from experience that they can open doors. I'm ready to run. Ready to run. Okay. Oh shit, I died. <laughs> what am I supposed to do there? <laughs> Just close the door? Will that buy me a couple seconds? I didn't know it was even possible to die in this game. It is actually possible to die? I'm just wondering if that might be some sort of meta game thing. Did, like, is dying part of the game? You know? Like, am I playing a game within a game? I, I don't know. Oh, 
I totally forgot about that. I think I just need to close the door behind me. Three, two, one. That didn't fucking work! Shut the door, Cap! Lock it up! What's happening? Lock the door! It was! What's going on? We managed to piss off another one of WoW's monsters. We have everything we need, right? Yeah. Let's get to work. Oh. This is crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. What's gonna happen once I pour this on? Is it just gonna grow a head or something? Make sure it's all bunched together with the structure jam connecting all the parts. Alright, try activating the seat from the terminal again. I can't believe we're doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was gonna suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it, change body? Yes, if you wanna stay here, I'm not gonna stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. What would be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. All right. Let's do it. Thank you, Simon. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. Great. Let's hop bodies. We need to loop back the activity manifested by your current Cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, and then make sure it's synced. You lost me halfway there. <laughs> You don't really need to understand it. Just make them line up. <laughs> All right, gotcha. Much lower frequency. Got to change the offset. And there we go. That's everything. You can climb into the pilot seat now. Already? I have everything under control, so please, have a seat. Go sit in the pilot seat. Sorry about any discomfort, this should be over soon. It's like having your picture taken. But with the most expensive camera in the world. You know, Indians thought photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. <laughs> <laughs> God. Now there's two of us. No, I could just... Why was it still talking? It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied, and now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kath. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were gonna take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset you. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. What's gonna happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? That's so cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You'd do that? I don't know. 
Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer. God, now there's two me's. I've got a feeling there's even more than more than two me's, but who knows? <laughs> it's amazing how the idea of there being two me's makes me really uncomfortable. That ah, uh, just think about what that means for consciousness. What I what the hell does that even mean? I don't know. It hurts my brain, and it's really really unsettling. How can there? How? Why? If I'm me and he's me, how am I in this spot? That means we're not the same me, even though we're the s What? I'm not gonna kill you, but you make me uncomfortable. I'm not gonna look at you anymore. Let's go. I mean, God, just think about what that means. That means I both did escape this place and also didn't. Because they're both me. Literally speaking, I both escaped this place and did not. I both got out, as it were. Well, I'm about to get out. And I also was trapped inside where I pretty much inevitably died. Or will die. Hmm... Well, on that existential crisis, I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.